we usually think of a joint's movement as being the action of one muscle pulling on a bone to make the bone move by rotating it around the joint where it's attached. In reality, however, muscles are actually recruited as groups and all the possible roles and actions must be included. Each muscle, because of its different attachment points and angle of pull, tends to pull the bone in a different direction. These divergent pulls collectively culminate in a certain joint action. A force couple can be defined as a pair of muscle forces that act together on a joint to produce rotation and these forces may actually exert pulls in opposite directions. Force couples may be synergistic pairs consisting of prime movers and groups of stabilizers for instance or agonist-antagonist pairs. Force couple then is actually another way of referring to muscle synergist or synergistic action. Note that a force couple does not have to be only two muscles, it can be muscle groups as well. One example of an important force couple in the human body is the deltoid rotator cuff force couple. The rotator cuff is more than one muscle, but each of these works with the deltoid to create its own important force couple. The major function of this force couple is to prevent migration of the humeral head out of the glenoid socket during shoulder abduction. This prevents impingement of the rotator cuff against the acromion. As the deltoid moves the humerus in an upward direction, the pull of the deltoid, if left unchecked, can exert a shearing force that can pull the humeral head out of its socket in a superior or upward direction. The rotator cuff muscles each exert a force that checks this tendency. Some other examples of important force couples are the internal and external obliques during trunk rotation and the upper and lower trapezius fibers during upward rotation of the scapula.